हेलो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम टू क्लास सिक्स एज यू नो ड्यू टू करोना वायरस वी आर नॉट एबल टू गो टू स्कूल सो स्टे होम स्टे सेफ एंड आई एम योर जोग्रफी टीचर माई नेम इज़ मेघना आई एल बी टीचिंग यू जोग्रफी इन सिक्स क्लास सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम वी विल मूव टू योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर and the name of your chapter is mapping the earth earth you are all aware of what is earth in our solar system earth is a planet earth is third planet it is the only planet you know the life exists on this planet we live on planet earth so it's the only planet with life how do you know about what is the percentage of the water on earth what is the land mass area of the earth how is the area divided which continent is bigger which one is smaller all these things we don't know we come to know about all these things when we see the globe how can you tell anyone that what shape is earth of is geoid in shape all these things are known by the different pictures taken from the satellites in the space they go and the satellites are sent to the space and you you must have seen the movie mission mangal in which they have shown how india's own satellite was sent and it <clears throat> sorry and the different pictures of the earth and different things different planets present in the solar system are taken pictures of so without wasting time we will move towards mapping of earth in geography it is very important the geography you know in geography we study about earth what is earth it is a planet it is very big earth is very big it's large so we cannot see a its whole we cannot see the whole earth we can see the parts of the earth if we want to study the parts of the earth we have to we have to draw them somewhere or we have to use a globe to see how the continents look like which continent is <clears throat> with whom next to which planet all these things we can see from a globe so first of all as it is not possible to see whole of the earth that's why human made representations were made like 3d models of earth 3d model is the whole picture of the earth is shown on a round ball like structure that is known as globe it is the 3d model of earth there are two different types in which we present the earth one is the 3d model the globe is the 3d model this one and this one is the 2d model 2d model all these things i have written on the paper are 2d if i show you this pen this is 3d it's it has three dimensions so globe is accurate and it is very simple and it looks like earth so it is the model of the earth it shows the correct size shape and location of different places but there are certain limitations due to which we we have to move towards the map we start drawing the maps there was a problem that it is very difficult to carry a globe everywhere you can't carry a globe everywhere even if it is of this small size you can't carry it everywhere this small globe cannot tell you the whole detailed information of the map uh, sorry of the earth of the structure of the earth of the continents present of the earth you can't know each and everything present on the globe very clearly or with full details so and moreover you can't draw or make half globe have you seen any half globe there is no such globe which is half you make or you purchase a globe which is full a uh, ball like structure and you can rotate it to see a part of it now what is map map is the 2d drawing i have told you that it is 2d drawing the very main part is that it can be drawn for the parts of earth also moreover drawn to scale 
on flat surface like paper it it is drawn on a flat surface and it is drawn to scale which means it has certain measurements there is equal measurement like if i say 1 cm on the uh, map it means that it is equal to certain distance on the ground also it is very accurate representation so what is the importance of the map it is the simple visual format it tells us about the physical features vegetation soil different things about different things about uh, continents detailed features of the continents their political features their capitals their states their important cities etc all these things are known to us and we used to study the uh, maps like we used to um, buy a book named atlas so you must be having atlas also what is the science of making map called it is called cartography the book in which different types of maps are there it is known as atlas it is a book but the science is known as cartography the people who are good in cartography or who are trained to draw maps are known as cartographers next is your types of maps there are different types of maps first of all is your political map you can also uh, see a political map in your book in which the boundaries of the countries states the location of the capitals everything is shown on the map even the water bodies are also shown on the map in the physical features a particular region is focused upon and the physical features are talked about like rivers how many rivers from which direction do do they move mountains how many mountains are there which area is mountainous which area is plain which area is of plateau and certain other features are also there which are shown on the physical maps thematic maps there is a theme there there is a particular theme like if a map is showing the crop pattern of the area if a map is showing the natural vegetation if a map is showing the forest area if map is showing the minerals how and which minerals are first one is your political map then is your physical map of india then is your thematic map of india natural vegetation is shown this is your topographical map next is your topographic maps topographic maps show you the physical and the cultural features and these are very detailed maps so these are very important as these are very detailed maps in these maps in the topographic maps you can even measure the distance the accurate distance you can measure the scale is there like 1 is to 2 lakh which means 1 cm is equal to 2 kilometers on ground if i have drawn a line of 1 cm it means that on the ground on the surface of the earth it will it will be equal to 2 kilometers so in the topographic maps you can find the accurate distance and accurate distance uh, between the places between the buildings between different uh, things you can find the uh, sorry you can find the distance <coughs> now how can we find the directions on the map i have drawn cardinal points with red pen and i have drawn the intermediate points with blue pen so that it can be easily so that it can be clear with you and it will be more easy for you to understand the four main directions which we talked about are north south east and west north south east and west all these are the cardinal points which means the main directions like this this arrow is shown on the map if a arrow like this is shown on the map like this is shown on the map it means that it is north direction they have denoted the north direction on the map and all other directions you can think about them and you can even find out the other directions or you can say the building is or the point let us say this point is to the which point this point if you are talking about this is the point i have drawn another point this is point a this is point b a point is to the north of 
B. A point is to the north of B and D point is the is to the south of A. As I have to keep this in mind, I have to keep that this direction is given to me. This is given to you mostly, and it is very easy to find out the intermediate directions or points. You can say like north and east. Between north and east is your northeast. between south and east is your southeast then between north and west is your northwest between south and west is your southwest all these points are very easy just you have to put both these directions together and this way you can find out which direction is present or which direction is the intermediate direction between these two fine and moreover it is a point you have to keep in mind that you have to start the direction the which direction i'm talking the intermediate direction keeping north or south first north east north west north is standing at the first fine it is placed before east or before west south east uh, south west south east south is before so keep all these things in mind it is all for today and you have to revise this you have to keep all these points all these key points in your mind i will i will also give you the assignment of this part the worksheet will be given to you and also these notes will be given to you you can go through these notes these are the brief notes i have written just small points of these big big paragraphs present in your book and tried to make easy for you hope you like it you have understood it see you soon in the next video till then stay home stay safe thank you